Hey guys, Jimmy. Welcome back to our Vascular Sonography Registry Review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question if you don't have time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive back into this thing. A patient returns to the hospital 12 hours after receiving scleral therapy, which will not be a reason for the early return. A. Hemolysis B. Pulmonary embolism C. Necrosis or D. Basal spasm The answer is B, pulmonary embolism. What does this image show? A, endarterectomy, B, carotid stent, C, atherosclerosis, or D, dissection. The answer is B, carotid stent. What do these images demonstrate? A, endovascular leak, B, EVAR occlusion, C, triple A rupture, or D, EVAR migration? The answer is D, EVAR migration. What forms the superior vena cava? A, left and right internal jugular veins. B, left and right innominate veins. C, inferior vena cava and the coronary sinus. Or is it D, left innominate and left subclavian vein? The answer is B, left and right innominate veins. What can you expect to find days after a sclerotherapy procedure? A, deep vein thrombosis, B, varicose veins, C, pseudoaneurysm, or D, normal blood flow in treated vein. The answer is B, varicose veins. This patient has returned to the hospital one month early after receiving a carotid stent. What is the reason for the early follow-up? A, carotid stent occlusion. B, normal looking stent, patient is just a hypochondriac. C, carotid stent deformation. Or D, carotid dissection. The answer is C, carotid stent deformation or carotid stent fracture. What is the arrow pointing to? A, abdominal dissection. B, part of the aortofemoral bypass graft. C, endovascular aneurysm repair. Or D, calcified aorta. The answer is D, calcified aorta. What forms the brachial veins? A, ulnar and radial veins. B, basilic and subclavian vein. C, basilic and cephalic vein. Or is it D, axillary and subclavian vein? The answer is A, ulnar and radial veins. Which treatment is performed to treat venous incompetence? A, angioplasty, B, EVAR, C, in situ graft, or D, EVTA?
The answer is D, EVTA or endovascular thermal ablation. What is not a contraindication for an EVAR procedure? A, triple A measuring greater than 10 centimeters. B, short or angulated neck. C, mural thrombus. Or D, torturous abdominal aorta. The answer is A, triple A measuring greater than 10 centimeters. Which is not a contraindication for an EVTA procedure? A, severe correctable coagulopathy. B, numbing agent allergy. C, inability to ambulate after procedure. Or D, anticoagulants. The answer is A, severe correctable coagulopathy. If this said incorrectable coagulopathy, then that would be a contraindication. Which is not contraindicated to close a pseudoaneurysm in a patient with an aortofemoral bypass graft with poor hemostasis? A, thrombin injection. B, the neck is less than one centimeter. C, manual compression. Or D, transcatheter arterial embolization. The answer is D, transcatheter arterial embolization. Where is the needle placed when treating a pseudoaneurysm with a thrombin injection? A, 4 centimeters outside the sac. B, 2 centimeters outside the sac. C, inside the sac. Or D, inside the neck. The answer is C, inside the sac. Evaluation of venous insufficiency should be performed with the patient in what position? A, standing with leg abducted, B, Fowler's position, C, decubitus position, or D, reverse Trendelenburg. The answer is D, reversed Trendelenburg. How do you correct this image? A, decrease PRF. B, steer box to the left. C, increase color gain. Or D, images optimized. The answer is B. Steer box to the left. Which nerve should be located before performing a saphenous ablation procedure? A. Femoral nerve. B. Sural nerve. C. Tibial nerve. Or D. Saphenous nerve. The answer is B. Sural nerve. Which is contraindicated to treat a pseudoaneurysm that forms from poor hemostasis? A. Manual compression. B. Thrombin injection. C. Surgery. Or D. When the neck measures between 2 and 3 centimeters. The answer is A, manual compression. Which is not related to claudication? A, cramping of the legs while walking. B, popliteal entrapment syndrome. C, atherosclerosis. Or D, an ABI index of 0 0.95.
The answer is D, an ABI index of 0 0.95. If you're looking to purchase mock exams, go to my website, ultrasoundboardreview.com, or type in Google Ultrasound Board Review, click the top link, click enter the pass zone, scroll down until you see vascular stenography mock exams. Click on it, scroll down, and then click subscribe. Or if you're looking for more of a one-on-one -on -one vascular stenography tutoring, go back to that first page, scroll down until you see vascular stenography tutoring. Click on it, scroll down, and then click subscribe. I'm Jim with Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.